Okay, so I think we are now strong enough since we leveled up at the end of last episode to take on the water gym leader's assistant. Now, if the assistant is this hard, I'm going to hate to see how hard the, um, the, the gym leader is. We do have... Actually, one thing I want to try out, actually, is... Can we control this or not? Let me just swap them out for... Dirty Seed, temporarily. If this can't fight... things... I don't know what... Maybe any Pokemon you've got before level 25, if you level it up above 25, it'll... it'll follow your orders. But if you... if you caught one over level 25, maybe it doesn't follow you? Oh, right there. I don't really know how it works. Nah, it won't fo it won't do as I say, that's why it gets that Okay. At least we've learned that. So Bambino's an idiot. We'll take our little friend back. Right, let's have a look at our Pokemon. Right, where's the HP? 56. How much HP have you got? 68. So I'll probably start out with him. Tell you what, we could start out with Pikachu, because if we can get a Paralyze on the go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Huh? Right, there we go. Right, this is the plan. Start out with Pikachu, even though he's a low level. See if we at least get a Paralyze on the go. And then we'll be able to go from there. Because these guys are pretty tough. In fact... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, I think. I'm going to try and paralyze it. Oh, nice, he got paralyzed. But he, he paralyzed himself, which is fine. Could we evade him? Nah, let's just go for damage. Oh my god, dude. It's a shame Pikachu died there because Spark actually did massive damage. Right, King Prick, it's your time to go. Time to shine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost this guy up. Bullet Seed. Machine Gun. Fucking hell, he hits for half health. Go on, Bullet Seed. Bop, 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 bop. Get wrecked. This is how we do it. Keep Pokemon. Clauncher. Well, it's, come on. And again, keep going, keep going, keep going. Four, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh my god, we got him. Got him! Does he have any more? Now nah, that's it, he only had two. He got wrecked there. King Pricks, top tier. Three grand. He did rob me of 500 quid when he beat us the first time. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty too. Hey, yeah, step right up and tell me, what's all this ruckus about over here? Old man Kofu seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little old walletless, moneyless me. What can I do for you? I've got your wallet. Vault and Veloos are my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staff have sent you out here to bring it to me. That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologise for my little apprentice too. I hope he didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Porto Marinada auction. 
that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we are both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this, here come today's last item. Feast your eyes on the main event, I have here the legendary Wakami Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Volten Veluza! I don't even have to touch it, I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it, look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. And that rich fresh aroma or something, plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen kid, if you want to challenge me at the Cascarafa gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on the seaweed for this old man. Okay. You already know the ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. You're something else kid. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man the seaweed. How do we do this? Make the winning bid at the auction. Owns legendary Wakayama seaweed. We'll start with a bid of 10,000. Don't bid yet. 25. Do I hear more? Don't bid yet. And do I hear more? We'll bid 30. 40. Do I hear more? Bid 45. Yeah, baby. Mate, I'm professional auction. Auction guy. Auctioneer. That's actually the person selling the goods in it. I'm a professional auction bidder. That was amazing. You put those grown up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thanks for winning that seaweed of this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. It's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money left I gave you, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm going to head back to Cascarafa Gym now. Good. I'm going to prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Yeah, I think this guy is actually going to be really tough. I don't think we're strong enough yet, if I'm honest. But, I think I know a way to get strong. Pikachu was absolutely amazing at dealing damage to that guy. So if we can... Fly here. I've got an idea, right? Because Pikachu is really fast. We can swim in the water and just start destroying some water Pokemon. I think we can get Pikachu leveled up pretty, pretty fast. He's level 18, he's too low. Right, come on. Let's give this theory a shot. Geronimo! Do you think we get much experience for killing a level 28 Magikarp? Not very much XP, okay. That's not really wise. Birds. If we could find maybe a... Oh, we'll kill this thing, what's this? The dolphin! Dolphino! A fin's in. And it's paralysed, hopefully. Right, this is going to give us some good experience, I bet. 384. I think the game knows my... It knows my sketch. And it's not falling for it. Yeah, there's some sort of, like... Sea monster down there. Then again, this might be good experience because we leveled up, didn't we? So maybe we don't even get 600 experience anymore. 
I can get Pikachu to maybe about level 25. Where's the sea monster gone? It was like a sea lizard. There's a pike. Oh, there's a fucking Garrod bro. There's just a Garados randomly in the ocean. What level is it? Level 28. I'm gonna kill it. Come to Papa. Look at my crystal light bulb, son. Yeah. It's already dead. This has got to give some sweet XP. Pikapi! 1200 level up! Yes! Decent. Yeah, this is a good sketch, this. I think if we get one more level up with Pikachu, we'll be able to handle that, that gym. Maybe. Because I'm going to open up with Pikachu. He's actually a beast of a Pokemon. And we'll just, uh, we'll crystallize him straight away. I wonder if Gyarados always appears there. Or if it's random. Nah, he doesn't appear all the time. That's fair enough, I mean. Yeah, Pikachu static such a good move for any physical attack. See ya. 300, 400 experience. Okay, decent. We'll try this pike thing. Level 35. We might not be able to beat this. No chance. That was a mistake. Alright, come on then. I think we should just head to the gym. Alright, where is this? It was over... ...by the desert. This one. There, that's where we're headed. Come on, baby. So the plan is, I'm going to open up with Pikachu. I'm going to crystallize him and just see how much damage we can do. Hopefully all of his team's water. Then again, the last gym wasn't even hard. I think we'll smash this. Just the only reason that's giving me second thoughts is because his apprentice was like... What was he, level 28? It's pretty damaging. Right, I'm ready.
Yeah, these are pretty high level in all fairness. Although they're going to get murdered by water Pokemon. These two are with it. These two are going to get murdered straight away. He can probably hold 81 health at level 23. My god, he's a beast. These three can probably hold their own ish. Let's go. Scott. It's so well that we end up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. As much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Ethers. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Give it a shot. So, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. Can't thank you enough, though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader? I am. Very well, allow me to show you the battle court. Pokemon! Man's gonna get electrified, watch this. Old man Kofu, play with us, come on. I would be honoured if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry everybody, I've got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. If, he, if he's only got three Pokemon, I think we can manage, maybe. Hey, yeah, step right up, I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinara. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got the legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you. I don't. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the region see. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Rama sushi the fuck out of them. Gym leader Kofu. Oh, this is the thing that we fought. What level is it? If it's 35, we're dead. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Level 20. Oh, we might just be able to manage this. Te Terrestrialize. Come on, baby. I want to give him the shocker. Oh, nice. Hopefully the Paralyze kicks in so it actually misses a lot of attacks. Light it up! Did it say I was buffed by Sandstorm? Oh, nice. <sighs> Aqua Cut is so powerful! Shit. At least that died as well. Okay. The only problem we've got is he's going to crystallize one of his Pokemon. King Prick. I need you. King Prick, I choose you. A Wug Trio. Huh? That's a water Pokemon. Come on, headbutt. Oh, it's so powerful. Come on, hit four times. One more, one more, one more. Oh, nah, it's gonna kill me. Actually, it might not, it did th It did 40 damage. It's gonna kill me, innit? Yeah, I'm dead. 
Right, uh, what should we do? Let's get Bobble out. Let's get the girth out. No, 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 no. Roid Robin, I'll tell you why. Because I can do a quick attack here. Which will guarantee me first attack and it might kill it. Oh, Aerobatics. Acrobatics. I don't think it's holding an item. Quick attack. Yes! Smart. Gyarados leveled up. Learned Crunch. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Crabble Minable. Whoa, look at this thing. Is that an ab abominable snowman? Crabominable, of course it is. We just need to get attacks off. Oh, there we go. I knew he was going to crystallize. It's going to do big damage as well because we are fire Pokemon. Probably going to one shot us. Phew. One old man Kofu special coming right up. Fucking hell, guy just Superman punches to death. I'm going to waste this guy's time as much as possible. We've only got Dirty Seed that can actually do anything to him. Got big, I've got big health, right? So we might be able to survive quite a bit. Crunch. 80 power. Crunch him. Bang! Oh, come on, Garados. You're a beast. Come on, bro. Right, we're going to die here. We've got two Pokemon left. Problem is... We're quite weak to physical attacks, and even though he's got water Pokemon, all of his water Pokemon have physical attacks, so that destroys grass. Come on, Bobble. I could have went in with the yawn, couldn't I have? I'm going to go for the attack. I avoided the attack! You nimble little bastard! <laughs> Bro, my man just sidestepped the attack like a legend. Oof! Jesus wept. We've got one guy left. He might actually die because of this sandstorm. <laughs> he died! You absolute mug! What you get? Dirty seed leveled up. Well done, bro. Even though you didn't even fight. <laughs> you just watched all of my team die. Volton Veluza, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively if I do say so myself. Five grand. We won, though. Victorious. A loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little magic orb to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I'll tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory, that's true. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. And let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Look at the state of this guy. Man's got jokes. With two gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 30 will be easier to catch and I'll listen to you. That's good. Which means we can get Bambi back on the scene. Let me throw this too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you'll make good use of it. Chillin' water. 
I might give that to Gyarados. They usually attack the target by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. This also lowers the target's attack stat. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me again now, again now you hear? Excellent. Right, level 30. Pardon me, would you be the Scott I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy, yes indeed. Oh, but I do apologise, I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel, I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy, so do tell me young Scott, what compels you to collect these gym badges? And compels you to be champion? I want to get stronger. Ask an answer, thank you. Naturally there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean history. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. He walks like you shit himself. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you'll one day have to battle me. You'll be wise to train hard starting now, it will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of death. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I'll be thrilled to have you attend. This guy's dropping sinister fucking bombs on a, on a poor, poor child that just wants to play with Pokemon. Right, we did it. Lost every single Pokemon bar one, but we did it. Yeah, I think we were a bit under leveled for that. So, let me get back here. We'll switch out our Pokemon. I do really like. Whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, 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 oh. That's uh, all kinds of messed up. What if we just try that again? Nah, it's well, well and truly fucked that, like. Right. Heal everyone. Happy days. I really like King Prick. I like the cactus. So, check out my boxes. I think this is a really powerful Pokemon, Bambino, because it's grass and it's got massive health. Dirty Seed. I don't know if it's actually that good. A 73 HP. It's also got Bullet Seed and Energy Balls. And yeah, this has got really good moves. I'm going to keep this with me. Pikachu is definitely with me. So, you lead. Bambino's 28. Gyarados is definitely number two if we can level him up. You're number three, because I like you. Royd Robin's top tier. Pikachu is top tier. We've got three men and three females. Right. Yeah, that's a good team, that. Right, we'll keep these with us. Uh, so, what's, the, what's actually the plan now? could try this. A Sado Desert. What's good against... Earth Titan. What's good against Earth Water? Then we don't have many water Pokemon. I mean we could try it. Earth. Gyarados doesn't even... Oh, wait, 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 wait. we had a, a TM, didn't we? Chilling water. Only powers 50. Power 50. Ben's grown at the grassy terrain for five turns. Powers of grass moves. Rest. Huh. 
at least it's got a, a water move now. Done. Right, let's head over that way. We'll see if we can beat this. Probably going to be really high level though. And because if we do this, we might get a new ability for our mount. Oh, look at that wabba! I think this is going to completely eradicate us, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, look at this thing! What the fuck is that? Oh, it disappeared. Get him! Doom for hand. Scott, this is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great creator of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution of course. Right. I think... I'm going to... We'll crystallize this guy because he's the highest level we've got. We might not be able to do much damage, but hopefully it, it, it does enough. Whew. Wow. Nah, this is far too hard. Yeah, this guy is way out of my league. Can't escape. Oh, we should wait a takedown as what? Oh shit, wait there. Yeah, it's a shame we, we're just gonna have to die for no reason. That's you can't just you should be able to run away from a battle you know you can't win. Oh my god, the damage! Shit! We might be able to beat this actually. If we crystallize Gyarados. Okay, I think we can win this. Yeah, Gyarados is going to be the one, like. It doesn't affect him. Okay.
dead. He is certainly a beast. But we can beat him. Yeah, we can beat him. Right, I've got I've got an idea. So Pikachu is gonna be no good for this. Who's gonna be good? I think actually this thing is quite good, you know. Swap him out. Pikachu. Pikachu can't do anything. Because it's weak against grass moves. And actually, if I remember, Dirty Sea has got an amazing move which we haven't tried out. Endeavor, look. Use this user inflicts damage by cutting down the target's HP to roughly equal the user's HP. So hopefully hopefully that doesn't mean the percentage. If I use this on that monster, does that mean it'll get 59 HP? Do you know what I mean? We'll try it out. But what we'll do is... Yeah, let's, let's try that out. So... These were really good. Royd Robin couldn't really do much. Tauros. What moves do you have? Double kick assurance headbutt. Could make the target flinch. Partially lower its speed. That's interesting, actually. Um. Right, plan of action is, I'm going to open up with Dirty Seed, see if this works. I don't think it will because it's a boss character, but if it does it'll be insane. Dirty Seed, open up with that. Then we're going to switch to the Girth and Crystallize him, and then we've just got... But what I could also do is actually, we'll then send in Bobble, try and put it to sleep. We'll find out what exactly works and what doesn't. But we've got a plan, we'll have to use all the tools at our disposal. Let's go baby! Remember it's probably going to have a second form as well, so we'll probably want something strong. But if our friend comes and gives us a hand, it's normally not too bad. I bet you this move we try and it's just going to say it doesn't work. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hey, big boy. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know, we know. Right. Endeavor, let's try it. Oh my god, it one shot us. <laughs> Bobble, put it to sleep. If this goes to sleep, it'll be good. I don't think it will, though. Why is it one shotting everybody this time? It didn't do that last time. Bruh. Right, you're gonna get fucked up now, mate. Chilling water! Oh my god, how- wait, wait, what move is this? Did it- it didn't do that last time? Man's fucking my deal, isn't he? Yeah, let's just let's, let's not do this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, has this guy just doubled his like attack power? And maybe you, he just went easy on me the first time and now he's going apeshit. Yeah, we'll avoid this. Yeah, he was doing rapid spin before, which is actually a really shit move. Oh my days, yes. One ad. I think we just have to get lucky if I'm honest. <laughs> that still killed us. <gasps> eh. We can do good damage, right? It's just depending on what moves he uses. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it again. If we die, does it recharge my crystalline thing? I'm actually just gonna do this in case it doesn't. Seventy-eight HP. Yeah, we've got more HP. Right, we'll give it another shot. Jesus wept. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. Right, I'll give it one last shot and then we'll give up. We just have to get lucky with the moves it uses. If it uses that move, that's a one shot. It's just not not gonna work. We probably should have best spent this time leveling up by fighting creatures and then we could have actually beat it but I'm a bit hard headed like that. I'm just going to keep throwing my face at this brick wall until it breaks. Tell you what, I'm going to fight this thing. Right watch this, hopefully let's see what Endeavor does. Does it lower that to 59 HP? We will never know because I'm dead. Killing water! Decent. Right, wait there. I need to survive because I want the experience for Garados, so... Get wrecked. See ya. This'll be mega XP. Decent. Decent. Stonehenge. Stone Journer. We're not going to get much XP off this. I could try and capture it, maybe. Bullshit.
killed it. Too bad. Still, 700 experience for killing... Oh, what the fuck is that? <gasps> oh my god, what's that? I want it! Oh, I'm getting into a fight with... That's a hippo! I want that straw man thing! Get out of my way! Right, where's straw man gone? Here he is! It's a cock turn level 36! Jesus! Or do you think my... Or do you think the cactus that we've got turns into that? King Prick? Probably does, you know. Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat that. Oh, we might be able. I want to keep going. Fire, let's get fire out. Go on, bubble. Decent. Don't kill me. Get wrecked. Okay, we need to move. We can't do that yet because it's too difficult. So let's see where else we can go. Why don't we start moving around this area? There is a... I hate this map, lads. It's so poorly designed. Why doesn't it always face north? Oh, you click right stick. Oh, if you click right stick and it automatically faces north. That's decent. Right. Yeah, we've went so far to the north, this is like, higher than us. I think we should start going... There's a cliff titan there, rock. What, I'll be good against that. Set destination. Oh well, wait, 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 wait. Who's that? Grass type. Right. Set as destination, we'll head there. So, if we take this path, right, well, wait, that is actually going to be first up on the, on the list. So we'll go here, and we'll just head out, head out the gate, decent. Come on then, let's make haste. Actually this does make sense because this is where the guy told me to go originally to fight the, the monster so this might be a really easy one. Yeah we're murdering things horrifically. This is quite a low level area. Bro, are you kidding me? Of course you can make that! Bro, I could crawl up, I'm stuck. Oh, there's a cave.
a bit junk. Oh god, do I even care? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, do I even care? Oh, it's a crystalline jigglypuff. Get wrecked. Hey Scott, so from what I gather the stony cliff titan likes to lurk somewhere in the rocky area. I had a look around but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map up a look if you're feeling stumped, it's pretty handy. Battle me for I am mighty. I don't think you are. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm gonna try actually. Let's try this. This is the raid battle. I wanna challenge it alone. See what it is. I've never even looked at one of these before because I said you needed a group, although you could do it solo. Um, apparently you can, you can capture these. What is it? The rules of terror raids. If your Pokemon is knocked out it will be revived after a while but you'll also take a time penalty so try to avoid letting it faint. Also perform a special action in terror raid, battles cheering. Cheering for your side, you can do things like boosting the stats of the Pokemon on your side, helping them recover their health. Okay. You can't terrestrialize either. Oh my god, I'm a beast. Yeah, I think this is a pretty low level one, isn't it? So we don't get a capture of these. Oh, capture it, go on. So is this a more effective one than a regular one we can just catch in the world or? You get quite a lot of stuff for doing that. Okay. It's just a regular one, it's not there's nothing special about it. Let's see what level it is. Level 12, eh. I mean it's not too bad. It might be a, ah, it might be an easy way to get certain Pokemon that you want. If you know they're in a, in one of those boss battles. Let's do this one. Oh, it's a get. what's it called? Gas, Goth coffin, it's a coffin. Or something. Coffin. <laughs> Coffin. Oh no, it's not. It's a Gengar, isn't it? A ghastly.
So once put Ghastly to sleep. Oh, mega kill. It's dead. Go on, catch it. I think this is a guaranteed catch as well. Only problem is these are going to be quite low level, so they're not, we're not really going to use them. So you probably do these because of all the crafting materials. They don't give you experience though, do they? It disappears once you do it. Oh, fair enough. Right, where's Big Boy? He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, a rare candy. I forgot what they do. Do they level up your Pokemon for free? Right, I've got a question here. We are nearly there. However, I'm going to go to this town first. So I've got a fast travel point that's close by. So what we'll do is we'll reach the town, we'll call it an episode, the next episode we'll go and deal with the big big monster. So what I might do is, let's see, what the hell is that? Oh, that's it! It's a massive crab. Okay, what's going to be good against crabs? Crab's water, so probably, yeah, our grass Pokemon will be good against it. You wanna fight? Come on, bro, I'll fight you. Yeah, these guys are so low level. I think we've skipped an area. What we did is, we went to that area, beat the first boss, then we continued going north to areas that like are, were too strong for us, but we still beat them. Yeah, Gyarados is amazing, like top tier. Trust you. It's a shame your Pokemon doesn't actually stay out. Like when you when you put them out, if you run away they like get thrown back to you. You got a hyper portion. But I want the poke ball. Bro, what the hell? You're telling me I can't get on top of that? What nonsense is this? Fuck it, I don't care. Okay. Let's heal up. I want Pikachu back. He's gonna be good against a crab, I imagine. Ah, I like King Prick. Dirty Seed. But I like Dirty Seed as well. It's a shame because these are, I think these are two really good Pokemon, but we just don't have enough room for them. Roid Robin is quite good. Bambino's grassy, we've got three grass Pokemon, we don't need them.
Unfortunately, I think I'll have to get rid of Dirty Seed. There we go. Right, you go top. That'll fight the big boss next episode. Boom. Right, lads. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode when we come back. We're going to go and fight that Titan over there. And then... I think there's a gym here. There is. There's a grass gym, so we can use our main Pokemon, and um, Bobble, to, to fight these, and we'll absolutely wreck them. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one.